Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Crypto Night, the crypto investor channel. I'm Boris, so let's dive in. I'm with Colton today. Hello, Colton. Hey Boris, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Crypto Night channel, everyone. Let's dive right in. Today we'll be talking about Polygon AI. Can you give us a little synopsis of this project, Boris, and how it kind of rivals ChatGPT? Sure. So <clears throat> they're coming up, you know, they they're announced that they're doing a partnership with Alia Thea AI. And uh, it's basically a uh, text to character platform. So you create characters and it generates uh, an AI character and that character can actually speak the text you, you're giving it. So it's different, definitely than ChatGPT. ChatGPT, it's mainly asking questions, typing on your keyboard and ChatGPT uh, actually makes an answer, but also it's text based. So the uh, the partnership it's uh, it's gonna be running of course on uh, on Polygon and uh, it's gonna be generated on my character AI. Now, like I said, uh, those characters they can be a mix of text, image, video, audio, and they they can create very specific characters characters that have accents. Uh, that speak a certain way. Uh, they can be trained, you know, to have their own personality and uh, and and be used across uh, different uh, you know platforms. So OpenAI, it was released back in uh, in November, and uh, we saw how you know um, ChatGPT got very very popular very quickly, and. Uh, the value of of uh, ChatGPT right now it's it's probably twenty billion dollars because ten billions were given by Microsoft you know to acquire about half of uh, of the shares of the project uh, so and they already have millions I think they're actually getting close to a billion users so it's it's completely uh, completely crazy but the problem is it's text based so it offers some great answers but it's limited in as far as the usage because of course in this age of uh, video you know image uh, audio driven world uh, <clears throat> it's great to have an ai engine that can formulate great answers but it would be even better if you could put it in motion so to speak where you have a uh, a real character giving you the text so you just listen and you watch the character talking back to you so according to the uh, co-founder of polygon he thinks that generative ai you know first of all it's advancing very rapidly and the potential is is uh, enormous and it's going to have a major impact in our lives you know in the uh, in the coming years Alethea, you know, that's uh, developing that uh, technology. They've been doing it for uh, uh, for the past few years. Uh, they are able to create characters in just seconds. So it's very, very quick whenever you want to create. It could be an avatar. It could be somebody who already exists. You know, I mean, the applications, you know, in the movie world can be enormous if someone starts generating actors that have passed away and that you can revive through those uh, those engines now, as far as property rights uh they have included some uh verification system to make sure that the uh the image being created you know have the necessary permissions so that you don't generate some characters that could be protected like i don't think disney would let you uh use mickey mouse you know as one of your characters you know talking back to your clients if it was for commercial purposes so they they do have a verification process so for chat gpt we saw microsoft investing billions of dollars and you know that if they put that kind of money on the table you know it's because they know the uh the advantages and the the, the beauty of uh, of what it can do now uh ai powered nft projects that's going to be a very unique market opportunity for polygon i mean we're all familiar with nfts but what if suddenly nfts could become animated 
and uh, and 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 create some kind of a uh, uh, a person or a character that can answer back to you. Now there are a few videos that you can go watch on YouTube that uh, have examples of uh, characters that were created. There's one that represents like an an older man, and uh, uh, j just to show you, you know, that you, you you can have characters that can be happy, characters that can be sad or old or young or whatever. So it's it's basically. Uh, showing you all the, the possibilities of what this uh this whole technology can do quick question boris do you see um the like chat gpt partnering with polygon to make an all-in-one solution or do you think these are all going to be separate softwares that you have to purchase they could be separate technologies because obviously they answer different things. So ChatGPT, its strength is to learn and to be able to formulate very savvy answers. Uh, the Polygon, uh, what they're doing is more an AI powered avatar or an AI powered uh, character. So it might have some ability to answer some questions but realistically you know probably chat gpt would be better to get the answers but definitely you will eventually be able to mix maybe both of them where really the avatar generated by polygon is using the text from chat gpt to generate the answers and uh the polygon side is generating the video and the audio part of of that uh ai uh character yeah. so most likely you you will have several technologies working together to make these things happen yeah that was my exact thought was just taking a video script you asked chat gpt hey make me a video script uh you know a five minute video script on dms software and then you know you could have polygon you know do the the visual side of things so okay that makes sense uh you feel free to keep going boris yeah so you know, I mean, we all used to NFTs that at first it was just basically a JPEG. And then in the phase two of NFTs, you know, suddenly you could do more things. You know, it uh, it could verify some information. You know, you could be part of a VIP club, but it could also be concert tickets where it has a, a real world application because, you know, you actually using those uh, NFTs to be uh, to have some kind of utility. And so this could be considered kind of a phase three where you are introducing the avatars or the uh, characters that are AI generated, you know, to to do specific things. So, like I said, it could be playing in a movie, but it could be also uh, on a website where people use it to answer back to the people coming to the website. So website becomes more interactive. Uh, so the really that that's going to probably make nft world become even bigger uh in the coming years because we'll we'll be talking about different videos uh and and animated characters that can actually answer back to you now they've already done you know polygon major partnerships with starbucks nike or walt disney so especially in the case of let's say disney you can imagine that they have a lot of characters at Disney that kids love. So, for instance, a website made for kids where they can go talk to Mickey Mouse or Darth Vader or whatever character be belongs in the uh, Disney uh, ecosystem. They could make those characters come to life. And uh, same with video games. There are lots and lots of applications uh, in, in this world. So the company that's behind that character GPT, uh, Alethea uh, AI, they are headquartered in Singapore and uh, they have about 70 people working for them. And so far they have raised $32 million. So $32 million already, it's a nice chunk of money you know, to be able to do something, you know. Uh, Mark Cuban is also one of the uh, investors 
So that guy is always on the forefront of uh, of new project, and and he has a good vision. You know, uh, he's uh, he's a pretty smart guy. So if he invested in it, you know, it's probably uh, probably because and he believes in in the project. So definitely, uh, uh, that's gonna that's gonna get traction if somebody like Mark Cuban is behind the uh, the project. But really, you need to understand that, yes, uh, ChatGBT is just the beginning, but uh, Polygon, they're doing something different and they're not going to overtake ChatGPT. This is not a war between ChatGPT and character GPT. It's more like they, they're going to be able to work together. They're just answering something very, very different. Uh, but overall for polygon this is very good because this is going to be very bullish in the coming month we're going to have lots and lots of uh people wanting to invest more into ai and a big crypto project like polygon getting into this could really uh propel polygon much much further much higher uh, in uh, potentially in prices. I mean, of course, no one knows for sure, but definitely this is something that could propel them uh, much higher in the uh, in the years to come. Of course, on the uh, future, right now, if you try to ask ChatGPT, you know, about investments, most of the time it won't help you much because they'll tell you like he is not a, a financial advisor and that he cannot, you know, plus there is that limitation that all the data that is being used for ChatGPT is from 2021. They did that by design at first, but eventually one day you'll be able to say like, hey, these are my financial goals. I, I want to make this kind of money or I want this kind of return, but not too much risk or this or that. And AI might be able to help you a lot, you know, pick some of the uh, better investments and, uh, you know, could make eventually even some market prediction. Now, of course, even though it's an AI, it's not perfect. It will make mistakes. Uh, so, but over time, yes, you're going to be able to, uh, get some help from the, uh, from the AI engine on all the investments. And then for cryptocurrencies, uh, anything that's AI driven, it's also going to help. I mean, already the fact that crypto does a lot of projects that are very interesting. It's, uh, it's making crypto very appealing, but if they also enter the world of AI, you know, doing image generation and doing predictions and portfolio management and decentralized marketplace, I mean, possibilities are, are endless. Uh, so definitely those are the type of things that could help cryptocurrencies go even higher than their original potential when it was just, you know, Bitcoin is digital gold and that's it. So here we're going to see some some crazy, crazy, crazy things happening. And that Polygon partnership is one of the first, but it's really going to make um, uh, the cryptocurrencies even more interesting and more appealing and have more use cases uh, for the real world. Now, the other cool thing is eventually you'll be able to upgrade their intelligence and you'll be able to train them in a specialized domain. So that, that'll be really, uh, really great whenever you can have a, uh, something, uh, that can actually be trained in a specific domain. And, uh, so those characters they'll be able to match whatever you're trying to do you know so for instance a uh, a scientist that uh, looks like a you know a crazy scientist or whatever but he's specialized in let's say the uh physics or explaining complex physics to uh, to children lots of, uh, of of different application and on the token utility uh the ai protocol is going to utilize the artificial liquid intelligence L -A -A, I'm sorry ALI tokens and those will be able to uh, generate you know character NFTs upgrade them you know you'll be able to do governance so 
really lots of exciting things coming up in uh, in uh, the whole ecosystem of uh, of Polygon. And like I was saying, you know, f especially for big companies or medium sized companies, the, the fact that they can create different characters for the metaverse, you know, virtual celebrities that they'll be able to either revive people that have been dead for a long time, you know, uh, gaming characters, uh, tutors, you know, e-learning, you could have uh, great applications with that as well. Help desk bots, you know, coaches. I mean, it's the, the possibilities are, are enormous uh of of using that uh that new technology and character creation so here we also listed a few other uh ai tokens out there like singularity net or fetch or ocean or numeri or uh, ori chain or hera and they all have different applications and that's really the important thing is if everybody's competing for the same thing then it's not going to be super interesting but if we have something that uh, brings something new to the table, some of them might be specialized in, uh, you know, uh, data uh, scientists to do predictions. Some other might be uh, doing, uh, you know, different forms of, uh, of payments. Some other might be doing staking and governance. Really, at the end, what you want is those AI engine to actually do different tasks. And that's what we're starting to see is different uh, applications. So, so far, the uh, whole market size is about 1.6 billion for those AI tokens. So it is still a very, very small one, you know, very small market compared to the over 1 trillion market that is uh, uh, cryptocurrencies but it's going to grow and it's going to grow very rapidly so lots of opportunities to look at you know do your own research but if there there are some projects that you like we could see potentially some uh, some really cool things so some of the challenges that will be faced by ai in the coming future is the uh regulatory uncertainty i mean we've seen that with cryptos in general but that's going to be even worse you know if you add in ai in the mix so that's something to really keep an eye on and then the lack of awareness you know people are not very familiar with those technologies uh just yet but i'm sure they'll catch on very uh very quickly and also uh those ai <clears throat> tokens you know facing competition on both sides both on the cryptocurrency currency side as well as the other ai project like chat gpt is not really uh has nothing to do with uh with crypto they they're not really involved in crypto so they're gonna have some competition on both sides and you need to be careful with that on the opportunity side uh obviously they there is the integration of ai with blockchain technology which could bring a lot of innovation uh especially uh an ai driven dao you know that's that's a possibility where it uh, we know what DAOs are and uh if it was ai driven it could uh, it could bring a lot of other uh innovation and a lot of growth and of course the market has to mature and uh eventually the demand is going to increase on uh, on that side so overall it's uh it's a good mix of two worlds that could really help each other cryptos and ai and that's what polygon is is bringing today through those character creations awesome boris thank you for that information um <clears throat> that's all i have from my side today so feel free to add anything else no that's it so Thank you, everyone. We look, thank you, Colton, and we look forward to see you all on the next Kryptonite video. I hope this video helps. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video at the end, click on the thumbs up.